Hello everyone, this is Daniel with FitnessBlender.com. Today we're going to be doing a cardio kickboxing and core routine. We're going to be kind of switching back and forth between some cardio kickboxing uh, rounds and some core rounds. We've got your warm-up and your cool-down included, and you don't need any equipment for this whatsoever. So let's go ahead and get started with our warm-up. All right, everyone, for our warm up, we're going to be doing each one of these for 30 seconds apiece. Let me get my timer started here. We're going to be starting off with just a regular side step arm cross. So nice and slow, we're just going to be starting step left to right. All right, nice and slow. Just back and forth to make sure which arm comes on top. You want to swap it each time. So left arm on top one time, right arm on top the other, just kind of slowly step back and forth. You're just kind of slowly warming your body up. This isn't really ballistic. You don't want to go fast. You're just moving your joints around. Start trying to get that blood, blood pumping, especially if you've been sedentary sitting around uh, recently. You want to take the time to move into this slowly. All right, we're doing high knee march next. So just standing in place, you're just going to lift your knee left to right, just nice and slow, starting off. Work into whatever range of motion is comfortable for you. And as you can, start speeding up and start mainly increasing your range of motion. So increase range of motion first, then increase speed. Just keep it going. Start uh, making sure you're keeping those lungs open. You're not holding your breath, contracting your core too tightly. You want to keep it nice and snug, but you don't want to restrict your breathing. All right, arm circles next. So feet about shoulder width apart. You're just going to do a nice... Circle around your shoulder, make sure you're going behind your shoulder as well as in front of it. Work on that flexibility through that shoulder joint. You can start pushing those circles bigger and bigger if you want to. We're going to switch directions. So start going backwards. A nice big circle around that shoulder joint. So you don't want to be doing them out here. You want it around that shoulder joint. All right, toe touch sweeps are next, so keep those feet wide, uh, nice like shoulder width or more. Down to one foot, sweep across, back and kind of lean just a little bit. Back down the other direction. Remember, focus on range of motion first. Once you feel like you have a nice full range of motion, then you can start speeding up if you want to, but you should never ever feel as though you're out of control. All right, we're doing squat push pulls. So feet just about shoulder width apart. You're gonna squat down, press out. As you come back up, pull those arms back in like you're doing a seated row. So press it out, pull it back in, squeezing those elbows nice and close. Press it out and back in. Make sure that back stays nice and flat. You're doing a torso twist and a knee, so you're going to rotate a couple times. On that third time, knee comes up. One, two, three, that knee comes up. So that way, you're alternating every single time. Keep those lungs open. Keep those knees slightly soft. And let it relax. We're going to be doing a side bend and reach. So one arm comes up over top. You're going to reach across. Try to stretch out that torso all along that side. So might even feel a little bit in the outside of that leg, through that hip, all the way through the outside of that rib cage, maybe even in the back of that arm just a little bit. Let it relax just a little bit and back into it again. And same thing on the other side. Nice and slow. Step over, reach over top of your head. Let it stretch. Relax for just a second. Right back into it. Going into a boxer shuffle up on those toes. Start stretching out those ankles a little bit. Try to get that heart rate up just a little bit more. This isn't really, really taxing, obviously, but you want to make sure that you're starting to get those that blood flowing through those legs as well. 
Stand up on those toes when we're using them a lot during that cardio kickboxing. Nice full deep breaths. Stretch that rib cage. Doing up and outs. So that knee comes up and out to the side, trying to keep those hips facing straight forward. So you're trying to open up that hip joint. Stand up on those toes again. Warming those calves up. If you need to, you can slow it down. If you need a little bit more help with coordination, this one takes a little bit of getting used to, especially the first time you do it. All right, we're gonna add just a little extra time in here. We're gonna do some jumping jacks, nice and quick. So you're going to keep that arm pretty much straight, a little bit of a bend, just popping those legs and arms out at the same time. Bring them all back together at the bottom. Nice, quick, controlled motion. You should never feel as though your arms or legs are flailing. They should all be under control, nice and tight. Speed it up if you can. And let it relax. All right, we've got our first round of cardio kickboxing coming up. So we'll be right back to start into that. All right, everyone, we're gonna be doing four different uh, cardio kickboxing combinations. We're gonna be doing it with uh, one side first, then the other side, and then we're just gonna work our way through the list. 20 seconds on doing the, the combination, 10 seconds rest to get ready for the next one. So let's go ahead and get started here. Our first combination is going to be a jab cross twice with an uppercut. So jab cross, jab cross, uppercut, uppercut. Stay up on those toes and start it. Jab cross, jab cross, Uppercut. Again, jump cross, jump cross, uppercut. Now just keep it going as fast as you can. Keep those lungs open. All right, give it a break. Switch sides, switch your side is leading. Do the same thing over again. So jab cross, jab cross, uppercut. Stay up on those toes. Lungs open. All right, moving on to the next one. Two hooks, two uppercuts. So starting with that opposite leg again. Hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Then start it. Hook, hook. Yeah, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Had a little bit of a pause there in my brain. Hook, hook. Uppercut, uppercut. Hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. All right, switch legs. Same exact thing. Hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. So pick something in front of you. It could be me on the screen if you want. And try to focus on getting those punches to cross right in front of that spot. So you're not only trying to get yourself tired, you're trying to work on coordination as well. All right, two jab cross and two hooks. Jab cross, jab cross, hook, hook. Jab cross, jab cross, hook, hook. Up on those toes. Move as quick as you can, as quick as it's comfortable. All right, switch sides. You don't necessarily have to move as fast as me. If you can, great. If you can move faster, fantastic. But just move at your own pace as long as you're under control. Hook, hook, or excuse me, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, hook. Relax. Moving to your next. Left foot forward again, or whichever uh, foot you started with. We're doing a jab cross burnout. Just jab cross over and over. 
Stay up on those toes. Get those arms going. Pick that point in front of you and aim right for it. Keep those lungs open. Three, two, one. Let it relax. All right, same thing on the other side. Try to recover. Start again. Up on those toes. Get those shoulders rotating in it. Every time you do that cross, rotate that shoulder cross. Keep your face looking straight forward at where you're aiming. Focus on that coordination. Let it relax. All right. That's the end of our first round of cardio kickboxing. Try to let yourself relax a little bit. We're gonna move straight into the core, uh, core routine. We're doing four different exercises. We're doing two sets. So we're gonna go through the whole thing and then run through the whole thing again. So let me grab my mat. If you have one, that's great. Use it if you don't have one. As long as you're on a pretty thick carpet, you should be fine. All right. Let me reset my timer here. All right, we're starting off with alternating toe touch. So feet up in the air. We're crum crunching across, up, and diagonally. So alternating each side. Keep those legs as straight as you can. If your hamstrings are tight, a little bit of bend in your knee is fine. If you find this to be too difficult, feel free to lower your knees or lower your feet. Let that relax, we'll move on to the next one, which is an alternating uh, back bow rotation. So over on your stomach, hands behind your head. Back bow, you're gonna arch your back up, but this time you're gonna twist to the left and then twist to the right. Just alternate back and forth. Keep those lungs open. Let it relax. All right, we're doing windshield wipers next. Laying flat on your back. Feet straight up. Easier version is gonna be with those knees bent, feet tucked all the way down. Just make sure that knee's above your hip joint and you're just gonna rotate left to right. To make it harder, you should extend those feet out further. The further those feet are out, whoo, hit my wall here, the harder it's gonna be. All right, let it relax. Moving on to just a traditional crunch. Hands behind your head or across your chest. Nice and slow, crunch it up and back down. Don't let your shoulder blades completely touch. Keep those core muscles slightly tight, crunch up. Back down, to try to keep those elbows back out of your field of vision. You might not think it does much, but just try it. It's a big difference. And let it relax. All right, starting back over with the alternating toe touch. So back on your back, legs straight up in the air. Hands up, crunch to one side, and then the other. Try to get a nice amount of rotation through those shoulders every time. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Kind of reaching to the outside of your foot. All right, let it relax. <clears throat> All right, so flipping over onto your stomach, doing that alternating back bow. Up and crunch to the side. Doing that back bow and pulling off to one side each time. Try to get as much rotation to those shoulders as you can while still trying to get as much elevation off the ground with that chest as possible. Let it relax. All right, windshield wipers. All right, let me scoot out just a little bit so I have room against the wall. Legs straight up. Again, easier version is down. Rotate left to right. As many rotations as you can get in 20 seconds. But keep it under control, no swinging out of control. You wanna make sure you could stop at any moment through that range and hold it. All right, traditional crunch last. 
hands behind your head, crunch up, and back down, a little bit of a hover, keep those core muscles engaged, crunch up, and back down, keep those hands back out of your field of vision, no pulling on your head, your hands are just behind your head, if you feel like your neck is starting to get tired, that's normal, just put your hands behind your head for a little extra support. All right, that was our last one. So that means we get a little bit of a water break. Go grab a drink of water. We'll be right back in to start into that second round of cardio kickboxing and second round of core. See you in just a second. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and get started with our second round of our uh, cardio kickboxing. Let's start my timer here. Same thing, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Our first uh, combination is gonna be two hooks and two knees. So again, starting one leg forward, arms up, hook, hook, knee, knee. So nice and quick, as quick as you can control. Try to stay on those toes. And let it relax. We'll do the same thing, opposite leg forward. So again, get ready. Same movements, hook, hook, knee, knee. Hook, hook, knee, knee. Hook, hook, knee, knee. Just keep them going as fast as you can, as fast as you can control, without feeling like you're flailing those arms. Again, try to pick a point in front of you Try to get those hands right in front of it the entire time. All right, we're gonna switch sides again. Starting into a new routine, or sorry, new combination. Uh, two knees and a jab cross. So knee, knee, jab cross. Knee, knee, jab cross. Same thing on the other side. Try to recover as best you can. Knee, knee, jab cross. Knee, knee, jab cross. Keep those lungs open. All right, moving to our, our third one. We've got two ducks, a jab, cross, jab. So you duck twice, one, two, jab, cross, jab. So duck, duck, jab, cross, jab. Try to get nice and low on that duck. You're not just kind of not in your head, you're actually trying to get your entire body down nice and low. So we're gonna do the same thing over on the other side. So duck, duck, jab, cross, jab. One left, we're gonna be doing knees. Just over and over and over again, burn it out. Recover as best you can. And knee. Imagine you're grabbing something up above and pulling it down into that knee. So you're not just lifting your knee, you're pulling down as well. Using those lats, chest a little bit, those abs especially. Same thing on the other side, switch sides. Start again. Keep those lungs open, pull down. Just keep it going. 
use those muscles as best you can, really contracting that core. All right, let it relax. All right, take a short little break. We're gonna switch over to our core next. Just like last time, we're going through each one of these exercises twice. We're gonna do one set of all of them and then back through for the second set. All right, let me get my timer set up here. Our first exercise is gonna be a jackknife crunch. So on your back, feet up in the air, similar to the other exercise we did, except instead of rotating, you're just going straight up. So legs straight, crunch up towards those toes. Hardest version, it's going to be with those legs pretty much locked out straight. Hands up above you if you want to use a dumbbell at your weight to make this harder. By all means do so, but only if you can get a full range of motion. Let relax, you can always bend those knees too. All right, we're doing whew, a, uh, a plank side raise. Whew, almost didn't get that in time. So stagger those feet, get that hip up hovering off the ground, raise it up so you're on your feet and your elbow. Press it up, hover back down, don't let it completely touch before you come right back up again. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Feet staggered, lift that hip, back down, a little bit of hover, but don't touch. If you want it to be harder for balance, then you're gonna stack your feet. You're gonna bring them one on top of the other. Just makes those stabilizing muscles have to work just a little bit harder. Now relax, You've got traditional back bows next. So on your stomach, arch it up. If you want to, bring those legs up off the ground as well. But mainly it's just focusing on getting that chest up. Easy version is be hands tucked to sides, hands up in front of your face is next hardest. Hardest is gonna be full extension. And then just add weight from there to make it more difficult. Relax, we're gonna flip it back over on your back. Jackknife crunch again, which makes me remember I did the first one wrong. So arms and legs all the way out extended, up, touch those toes, back out, crunch up. If this is too hard, feel free to do it with a bent knee or like I showed the first time, just toe touch crunch, those legs straight up, trying to reach up towards those toes. And let it relax. All right, doing a side plank crunch. Or sorry, side plank uh, hip raise. Up on your side. Again, feet stacked for harder version. Crunch it up, back down. If you find that this is just way too hard for you, feel free to bend those knees out and lift from there. But if you can, go to a full extension as long as you have that full range of motion. All right, same thing on the other side. Feet stacked for the harder version, staggered for the easier version. Lift that hip up, bend those knees. If a full plank is a little too difficult. Keep those lungs open, keep those core muscles tight. Relax, one more exercise to go, and that is our back bows. So onto that stomach. Hands by your sides for the easiest version. Hands in front of your face for the next hardest. Full extension for the hardest body weight. Keep those lungs open, inhale on the way down, exhale on the way back up. Relax. All right, I'm gonna get it set up for the cool down. Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back to do our cool down. All right, see you in a second. All right, everybody, for the cool down, we're gonna be doing each one of these for 30 seconds a piece. Get my timer started. 
we are going to be starting off with just a regular toe touch. So feet, shoulder width, or touching, whichever is more comfortable. Just bend, we're gonna start with a flat back, straight forward until you feel that stretch that hamstrings, wherever it is for you, it doesn't matter. You just wanna feel that stretch. As it starts to loosen up, just try to lean into it a little bit more. And then nice and slow, around your back. The rest of the way down, try to reach to those toes. If you can't reach them, don't worry about it. Just go as far as it's comfortable for you. You wanna just constantly feel that stretch through the back of that hamstring, maybe a little back of the knees. And let it relax. We're gonna be doing uh, arm chest stretch, an uh, overhead chest stretch. So find a wall or a piece of furniture, hands up. Head pushes down between those arms to stretch that shoulder. Switch sides. And let that one relax. Stand up nice and straight and tall again. Bring one arm across, grab that elbow, pull across in front. Should feel this all across your shoulder blade and the outside of your shoulder. Depending on how flexible you are, you might feel it, you might not. But you're just trying to get that arm up as close to your chest as possible, kind of right across like collarbone, base and neck. Pulling a little bit with this arm and pulling in. Same thing on the other side. Grab that elbow, pull across, and get as close to your chest as you can. Don't rotate your shoulder across. You're keeping your shoulders perpendicular to the wall in front of you. Or excuse me, parallel to the wall in front of you. And let that relax. We're gonna go up against a wall or, or a door frame. One hand facing back behind you, fingers facing back behind you. You're going to rotate away from that hand until you feel it stretch in your chest. If you're feeling it more in your bicep, then make sure you turn the inside of your elbow up. And you should feel it just across that chest. But if you want to feel a little bit more in your bicep, go ahead and rotate that hand back down or that arm back down so that inside elbow is facing forward. You can stretch that hand a little bit more if you want by leaning back more on it. Switch sides. So same thing, fingers facing back behind you. Rotate away from that hand. Adjust the inside of the elbow however you want to feel it, chest or bicep or both. And then rotate away. Get a nice stretch on it if you want that hand, a little bit more of that hand. Just kind of lean back away on it a little bit more. Especially if you have a desk job where you're sitting at a typewriter or a keyboard, excuse me. Um, this is a good one to help stretch out that forearm. And let that relax. All right, we're doing torso stretch next, so go ahead and lay down on the ground, actually. <clears throat> Pull one knee over top, across in front of you. Keep your shoulders flat against the ground. Try to get that knee as close to the ground as you can. If it doesn't touch, that's fine. Main thing is getting as close as you can without letting that opposite shoulder lift up off the ground. Hold it for just a little bit longer since we got a late start on this. Then you're just gonna switch sides. So roll that leg back over to the other side. Just let it relax. Try to let that knee drop as far down towards the ground as you can. Again, try and keep that opposite shoulder down against the ground. Let that relax. We're gonna do shell stretch next. So we're gonna roll over on those knees, sit back on those heels, round that chest, press your hands into the ground, round that back up. Should feel it through that lower back. You might even wanna use those abs a little bit to pull those shoulders down. Kind of relax, extend those legs out back behind you. Flat down against the ground, palms into the ground and arch up as high as is comfortable. If you can't lock your arms out, that's fine. Just go up as high as is comfortable for you. Try to pull those shoulders back behind you. 
chin tilted up towards the ceiling ever so slightly, just as long as it's comfortable on that neck. You never want to push into pain. Feeling stretch is fine, but pain you want to avoid. And let it relax. All right, guys. Good job. I hope you enjoyed it. And this workout is complete. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.